If you haven't already heard of Huawei, then I'm pretty surprised. They've been getting more and more popular over the last few years, and their new phones, the P20 and P20 Pro, are due out later this month. Thanks to all the leaks floating around on the net, we kind of think we know that the P20 will have an LCD screen, and the P20 Pro will have an OLED screen. We know the consumer benefits of this, deeper, darker blacks with OLEDs, and LCDs have been shown to have better viewing angles potentially, but what are the ethical implications? And can the screen type you go for have any ethical impact whatsoever? The short answer is yes. And round one of P20 versus P20 Pro is the environment. LCDs, as found in the P20, require a gas nitrogen trifluoride. Nitrogen trifluoride is a greenhouse gas. In 2008, that's when people started realizing just how nasty this thing was. 750 years, it stays in our atmosphere, and it's 17 1,200 times more impactful when it comes to global warming than CO2. Emissions are comparatively low, but irrespective of 2008, the damage done by nitrogen trifluoride was equated to CO2 emissions of Austria that year. So that's a pretty hectic stat. Now, I'm not saying every use of this gas is bad. It's used to make solar panels as well. But if given the choice between an LCD and an OLED and the environment was a concern, based on this, the P20 Pro beats the P20 with its OLED display. Next up, it's manufacturers. And I'm not talking about Huawei. Huawei actually outsources the screen manufacturing to two companies, or multiple companies, but the high-end OLEDs, as found in the Mate 10 Pro, tend to go to BOE, and the high-end LCDs to JDI. Now, JDI is Japan's first manufacturer to make OLED screens, so it doesn't just make LCD screens. They are all trying to make OLEDs, but OLEDs are a bit more expensive in addition to being better for the environment, a fair bit more expensive. So we can cut them some slack there. What it's going to come down to from an ethical point of view is their corporate social responsibility, what they promise that they will do. And I've put a link below to the documents outlining their promises and how well they're doing right now. And the onus therefore falls a little bit more on you to pick through through what they make public. Ideally, Huawei would make public a base set of requirements that its partners would have in order to work with them from a humanitarian point of view. I haven't come across it. If anyone has, please ping it my way. So this is a relative draw, especially given the fact both are working towards an OLED world. The final round is energy efficiency. OLEDs can be more efficient than LCDs, but they are much more inconsistent. If you have high brightness and lots of whites, then the LCD will be the more efficient panel of the two. With its more predictable power consumption and the smaller screen size of the P20, by contrast to the P20 Pro, I'd probably say that was the more efficient of the two. But that said, smartphones really don't consume a huge amount of power in the grand scheme of things. You'd be better off to make sure you've just turned off all the lights in the room when you've left then swap your smartphone out for one with a smaller screen if your focus is on energy saving. And so for me personally, I would go for a P20 Pro every single time with its OLED display. I'm getting deeper, darker blacks, I'm getting more vibrant colors, and yeah, sure, I'm spending a lot, but I can kind of help justify that to myself by knowing that I haven't pumped some extra nitrogen trifluoride into the Earth's atmosphere by opting for an LCD panel. So that's me. What about you? Let me know in the comments section below if this has any bearing on your buying decision. I'm genuinely curious. What I also want to know is anything I've missed out. If you're an expert in this field, share this video, like this video, subscribe to this channel. It's going to help me grow and hopefully raise awareness for aspects of the tech industry that we might not know quite so much about. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Oh, I'm not a writer.